Hi everyone, it's Jen from McLean Fitness. Today I have a superset lower body workout with some HIIT. So we have four supersets, um, two exercises back to back um, that we'll repeat. And then I'm gonna insert some HIIT sections in between those supersets and then have a nice little finisher. So I'm gonna start with a banded warm up. I'm gonna use my barbell later and my stability ball and kettlebells and dumbbells Typically my usual, usual equipment that I use for lower body. So I'm gonna start with a warm up, like I said, and it's four minutes. I'm gonna use the band for the whole thing. So I'm gonna alternate um, RDLs. So I'm sorry, like just band and RDLs. So I will stand on the band and just lift up and come down and get a nice little stretch. And then I'm gonna wrap it and anchor it. Put my hands and arms in the bands and I'm just gonna do some deep squats, okay? So I'm alternating between the two. If you don't have a band, just do um, RDLs with lighter weight and squats. So we're gonna start in five seconds with my RDLs. So pulling up and feeling that nice stretch. Okay, so we're gonna come down, stretching a little bit and then pulling up. Squeezing the glutes and keeping that core tight. Control, so this is just your warm up, just trying to get that range of motion because we're doing a lot of RDLs or a lot of deadlifts. All right. 10 seconds to wrap it and putting it in my elbows. Just going down deep and coming up and kind of leaning back. Don't lock though when you come, so don't come all the way up. And keep that core tight. And press up with your heels. Don't put the weight in your toes. All right, back to the start. Some nice hinging at the hips. Butt goes back and pulling up. Soft knee. All right. Hopefully, you're getting warm and preparing your body for this workout. So you have a nice lean here, not putting pressure on the knees, which is good for me today. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of trouble, just a little bit with my left knee, but it's getting better. Just have to be smart how you train when you're training with an injury. All right, we're halfway there. So focus on form. Nice straight back when you come down. Really shouldn't be looking at your feet. Your head should be in good cervical alignment. Sitting back, feel that nice stretch, and then squeezing up. All right. I do love the bands. I highly recommend getting some, especially home gyms. If you can't afford to go up and wait, or buy, you know, heavier dumbbells, a band, adding a band can intensify an exercise and it changes the range, the resistance throughout that range of motion. So it's a different feel. All right, we've got one more time. And then we have our first superset. Squeeze it and keep that core tight. All right, this is it. Last 20 seconds, last Tabata. We're not doing any more Tabatas today. All right, 
legs. We're done with that. We'll need this later. Um, like I said, we also have a stability wall for an exercise. Um, so we're going to start with our superset. I'm going to do hip thrusts with goblets. So I'm going to do dead stop goblets using my elevation. I have, I do have two elevations here because eventually I'm going to try and do nice elevated um, deadlift variations. Um, when we get there, we'll get there. You can just have two plates or anything else that you want to, like two smaller stools, whatever you have to elevate, which creates greater range of motion. I'm also using my sandbag, but you don't need to. I'm just using it for convenience for the hip portion. So I'm going to do 12 hip thrusts and I'm going to pair it with 10 goblet squats. This is four times through. Take a deep breath. 12 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I got four more, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I have 220 on my bar for today. I'm going to use a 40 for my dead stop. So I'm going to use my elevation to stop it. And I'm going to straddle a little bit wider. <sighs> Grabbing it and slowly lowering and letting it rest. Sitting deep. The elevation is 16 inches. One. Two, three, don't come fully up, don't walk. Four, try and focus on squeezing those glutes. Five, six, so we're doing this superset four times. Seven, Eight, nice and controlled. Nine, last one, and ten. All right, all right, we're done. Try your best to let your heart rate come down. Whew. And prepare for round two. Take a deep breath. I would say the first round through is always the hardest. Well, the first and the last. <laughs> first is hard, but just getting into the movement. 12 reps. Here we go. One, two, three. Squeeze those glutes. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, more goblet squats. I like to come down and stretch. <laughs> Here we go. Get that weight up. Focus. Straight up and down. One. Two. Three. Four, I'm already breathing. Hard. Legs, lower body, almost got me. Five more. Six. Seven. Eight. This really forces you to go deep. A little pause. Last one. Whew. 
Heart rate is, it's up. <laughs> We have two more rounds. Then eventually I'm going to have to remove some of these weights for my barbell for later. Here we go, round three. 12 press. One. Two on the isolation. One, two, three, four. Just don't rush. Just take each rep at a time. Actually, not pulling any of this, so this is great. Hip thrust, you will not put so much pressure on your knee, which is a good exercise. Here we go. Last time, 10 reps. One. Two. Sorry, elevated more sumo style. I'm 
on your anatomy. First exercise, I'm going to use my sandbag, just doing good mornings. And then I'm going to use my ball for the third exercise, which is hamstring curls. And I'm going to hold a weight overhead, create a little more instability. Um, we'll see how I do on that. Um, I'll try and do it over here so you can see me. It's kind of hard with all this other stuff in my bag. <laughs> So this is timed. We're gonna do this 40, 10, three times so. Let me get my timer ready. So this is a seven and a half minute set. Uh, we're gonna start, I have 10 seconds starting with my good morning, so it'll get me enough time to set up. Remember hinging, this is another hip hinge exercise, I'm back loaded, so you're going to come down, feel that nice stretch, and squeeze up. So the nice thing about time, I always say, is we can just really focus range of motion, the movement, that nice stretch, and squeeze up. Head in alignment, go deep. I might go heavier the next round um, with my barbell, my lighter barbell. But when I do these later, I'm gonna use the sandbag because we're doing kangs um, and then squats. So I'll probably change my equipment depending on how I feel. We've elevated deadlifts. So you might have to see my head. <laughs> Carefully grab your weight. You're going to come down so another hip hinge movement and squeezing up but you're going to go deeper lowering past the two elevations okay hinge hold and squeeze so setting up for that ball is going to be a little tricky just so you know it's ahead i'll probably put my heels on the ball first before i actually grab my weight i'm going to grab my 40 kettlebell just holding it straight up squeeze also getting your shins and your calves because they're in isolation stabilizing that ball focus on the movement we go back to the start with two more rounds and focus so you don't have those arms for balance on the ground all right so like I said I'm gonna go with a heavier barbell. Oh my good barbells. I lost a little bit of time, but that's okay. Get that butt back. And squeeze it when you come up. Another hamstring, so we're getting a lot of hamstrings. A lot of posterior today. And don't forget to breathe. Get that oxygen to your muscles. Sumo. Elevated. Focus and squeezing. You're getting 
it a lot for this one exercise. I can feel my lats working. Hopefully setting up a little bit quicker. Arms up and be safe. You don't have to use a kettlebell. You could use a dumbbell or a plate where you can just hold your arms up. We have one more time through after this. Squeeze. You need your core tight. I'll try and get faster. Into that good morning last time. last time with your elevated. Just protect your back just when you're grabbing from this low. Right. So this forces greater range of motion. Really hitting more muscle fibers. Put your weight in the heels. All right. Really feel my glutes. We're almost done with this hit set. And then we move on to another super set. These exercises will be used similar versions. And we do it again. Mine was in my mouth. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Squeeze and out. The problem is this is banging up against a kettlebell. All right. You got this. 25 seconds. exercises too. All right, we've done that round. Move that out of the way. We are moving on to another super set. So I'm going to hit pause just because I need to change the weights on my barbell for our sumo deadlifts and we're going to pair that with a banded sumo squat. I'm going to use my green band. And I'll have to show you how, actually I'll show you now before I hit pause, but I'm going to wrap the band around my foot. So over the foot and back around, and I will do it on the other side as well. And you're gonna have a wide stance, and I'm gonna grab, each hand is gonna grab a part of the band, and you're gonna do your sumo squat coming up and down. Okay, so make sure you have good resistance. I want you to go deep and squeezing up. If that band doesn't work, pick one that works well for you, or just do with a dumbbell sumos. All right, I also have my blue one, and I feel that the green is not enough. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. I, I set my barbell, it's at 130, and I'm gonna use the blue, the blue band instead. Um, so this is another four times through superset. I'm gonna do eight sumos, and then I'm gonna do 12 banded um, squats, sumo style. So this is a wide stance. I like to do reverse grip. Coming down, we're gonna pull up for eight. 
One. So my knee's still a little tricky with this one. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Actually, I feel like that works better for me today because of my knee. Okay. 12 of these, remember, we're gonna wrap around the foot on each side. And then one side, I'm gonna pull. So I'm gonna pull my arm back. This one front. Okay, wide stance, up and down for 12. One. Good. Here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Change them. Change that grip if you need to. But you can feel this is different than doing. Weights. I got three more. Good, deep chest up. 11. And 12. All right, unwrap. Setting up. Get your rest. <laughs> All right. Another round. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I alternate my grip. So I'll probably do more of a dead stop. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Back to those bands. Might be more comfortable with shoes on too. <laughs> I just like to prefer to do barefoot. 12 reps. One, two, three, four, Seven. 
Make sure your band is even. <laughs> Really twisted. Alright. Right. I'm gonna grab this one. I'm always just changing my grip. <laughs> I'm deciding which hand's gonna be forward. 12 reps. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, sit back in those heels, eight, squeeze in our nine, ten, eleven, last one, and twelve. All right, we have one more time. You got this. Deep breath. <laughs> you will feel this in your grip, your forearms. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Last time. And then we're doing hit again. Change the moves slightly. Twelve reps. <laughs> One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three more, ten, squeeze it up, eleven. We are going to set up for our next hit. Same format as far as 40-10. I'm just going to get rid of my bar over here. We are going to do elevated, going down to a deadlift, and finishing off with a squat. So very similar to what we're doing, just um, a squat. That's too much of your mat. Alternate between the two exercises. And then we're going to pair that with a Kang squat. I am going to use my bag. So I can go slow and controlled from that good morning. Okay, and then I'm going to sit into that squat. And then you're going to reverse back up. And then our third exercise is going to be long lever hip thrust. I'm going to use my bag again for that. And basically your legs are out longer. So hopefully you can see me. Um, I'm going to move this just a little bit. Try my best to have you see me with the long lever. But your arms will, your legs will be extended. Alright, so you'll be on your ground like this. Your slight bend, help with the back here. And we're just going to lift. So it's a smaller range of motion, but it's a different feel, different way to get the glutes. Um, if you don't see me, that's how I'm going to be behind my step if there's no room. Alright, this is another. I'm going to just fix my hair real quick. Seven and a half minutes set. 
Those three exercises will be repeated three times. Just using my bag and my elevation here with the kettlebell. All right, let's get you moving. We're going in 10 seconds with my hang. So, Angie with that good morning, sitting in that squat and the reverse. Back up. So, a lot of movement into a squat this second round. So we'll be doing something similar for our next move with this kettlebell and the elevation. Just focus on each movement separately, okay? So I'm going to try and rush it, have a little bit of a pause. A nice stretch. All right. Move my bag over here. For when I do the long levers, remember, starting with the deadlift down, sitting, and coming up. So dead. So not squat. Oh, and pull it up. <laughs> oh, part. That part's hard. <laughs> Cause you're so deep. <sighs> Feels good though. With my bag, and you're just raising the bag up and down, digging your heels into the ground. Hopefully, you can see me. Really changes up the exercise. You could elevate your back too on those two, or even do it with an elevation if you want. So this is like. A Small range of motion. Bring your legs around a little bit longer. Squeeze it. About five seconds. We go back to the Kang. My bag. <laughs> Getting lots of glutes and hamstrings today. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Really squeeze your glutes. So we are doing a decent amount of squats. So we are getting some quads to
again, feeling kind of isolations from your shins and your calves, which is a little bonus. You have 10 seconds, one more time through. Last four. Eight. Just don't lose focus. Three. And keep that core tight to protect your back. All right. So deadlift down. Sit back and pull it up. Last time with these. to our next super set. I'm going to move this for our first exercise. Everything's already set up. <laughs> and so I'm using my barbell here for some reverse lunges. Hopefully my knee is okay with the barbell. If I switch it out, it's just because it's bothering my left knee. And really it's harder, I think, when I go back on my left. So not necessarily what I'm doing left reverse lunges, but I'll just adjust my weights, maybe use dumbbells if I have to, um, or the bag. The first one is, so it's a box squat deadlift, so you're going to start seated, and then when you come up, you're pulling the weight from the ground, all right, and then you're going to come back and sit, all right, so kind of look at that stop. We'll do 10 of them, and then we'll do eight reverse lunges, we're only doing this three times though. All right, so let's begin. Let's get moving. So I like to start seated with my hands on the bell. Nice hinging movement right here, okay? One, so it's a normal stance. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, squeeze the glutes, seven, eight, nine, we got one more, and ten. All right, let's see if I can do these. I'm going to do alternating, so it'll be 16 out of my Left leg, a little bit of a break. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, and four, five. That's the tricky one. Six, seven. I have eight more. Nine. So you can do straight eight on each leg. Ten. Eleven. Four more. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. And sixteen. Alright. I did it. I'm going to stick with what I'm doing. Oh, heart rate is up. We're going to round two. We'll make three rounds. One. Slowly lower. Two. Three. Four. change things up. Alright. Heart rate comes up after you're done. <laughs> 16 reps total. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight more, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One more time. And one more hit. Deep breath. Here we go. Start seated. One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. I'm just going to keep it here. I'll need it <laughs> for the hit. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Well, seven and a half. <laughs> and what we're gonna do this time is with my bag, 
I'm just going to do squats and focus on depth. If that feels too easy, I might just use my barbell. Just once again, my knee. <laughs> Try to be smart. Train smart. And then we're going to do elevated, going down to a squat and finishing with the deadlift. So reverse of what we were doing. And then we're just going to do walkout um, hip thrusts. Well, or glute raises, whatever you want to call it. I actually might, if I can, might do it banded. We'll see. It takes time <laughs> to put it around your feet. So, because once again, you have to wrap it to keep it stable. And then you hold it here, and you're just going to walk. So if I can do that in 10 seconds, you're just going to go in and out. Actually, I might do that just to change things up. Hopefully I have enough time switching from kettlebells. All right, so we're going to start once I start my timer. All right, so I'm going to just go in 10 seconds. I'm going to grab my sandbag for the squats. I just try and focus on depth. So I'm squeezing up and down. Go deep and squeeze up. I have a hard time with squats. I don't have the greatest flexibility, something I definitely try to work on. That's a good thing about going a little bit lighter today is just trying to work on that. 15 seconds. So remember with the band, wrap it around the top of your foot if you decide to use bands. Otherwise, you don't need to. And you're just walking your feet out on the heels. Alright, so this time starting with the squat, ending with the deadlift. So starting with that squat, butt goes up. And feel that nice stretch. So sit back, butt up. It's always good to have a mirror nearby. <laughs> oh, nice stretch. Keep breathing. You have about six seconds. I'm going to try quickly to put that band on. So wrap it. Bring it around. Wrap it. Hold it up high near your hips. Raise your glutes. And then walk it out as far as you can. And then walk it back in. Keeping your glutes up as best as possible. Halfway there, and two more rounds. I like to hold and change leads. All right, so unravel, keep it there. Grab the bag for squats. We just have one more superset after this, and only three times through. Ten seconds. that core tight. It's being worked as well. Sit down, butt up, and a good alignment, squeezing up. 
Don't try and run out of these exercises so that you can get into your bands. If you're using one, safety first. So you wrap it around your foot so it doesn't move. Otherwise, especially if you're wearing, or if you're barefoot, I think shoes sometimes have a nice little like, arch. But still better, I think, just to wrap it. 13 seconds, one more time through. Hold the band up higher if you want to. getting up and down. <laughs> that takes time. Last time. Press up with the heels. heels. Hinging and pulling up. We have one more move. After this round, it's like by the third time you're getting used, you know how to do it. You're a master of putting the band on. So I'm using my lighter band. Seems to be working well. As long as you have no slack, you don't want slack in your band. We have 15 seconds. Push through five seconds. All right, and we're done. And our superset, or yeah, last superset, is we are going to do sissy squats along with step ups. I'm gonna start with step ups first. I'm gonna do more of the um, posterior first and step up. Actually, they incorporate both. So, I'm gonna start with them and then I'm gonna do sissy with my heavy band. And I think I'm just gonna do it not weighted so I can really focus on depth, range of motion. You don't have to use a band. Some people use a bar. Like if you have a rack like this, you can put the bar there and you lean back into the bar. So, our reps are 10 and 8. Well, 8 for the step ups, 10 for the sissy. Okay. And I'm just going to stick to 25s because I'm an 8. <laughs> Even 25s off the field. It's good enough. Okay. Sometimes it's not the moment, it's not the time to focus on building strength when you're injured. So I'll build strength if I can on my upper body while my lower body is recovering. But if I'm working out while injured, it's, it's very healthy. And doing lower body moves, because you want to get blood to your muscles and you want to get blood to the injured area to help with the healing. Seven, I got one more. <laughs> Hopefully you're counting along with me. I stopped counting, but I in my head it's counting. Eight reps. So the 25 is still fine. But I'll stick with them just to be safe. 
three, four, three times. That's all we got. Six, seven, and eight. Right. And grab that band, and the band's gonna go. I like to put slightly below my knees. And remember, you're gonna press your knees back. So lean back. This is where the warm up came in handy. All right. Time out. One, two, three. This is good rehab for your knees. Four, five. Give my quads. Six. Don't let the band pull your knees though. <laughs> Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. So getting some good quad work while not putting pressure on the knee. Ooh, all right, here we go, round two. This will go fast. One, but don't go fast. <laughs> Take your time, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four. We're tight for that balance. Six, seven, and eight. Okay. Round two of the sissy squats. I really, really enjoy these. Right. Deep breath. You can't see me. <laughs> Facing away. One. 10 reps, two, don't lock your knees, three, but you want to press them back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. All right, wait one more round. And a nice little finisher. To finish off this workout, we are, it's a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna be. It's all good. Something to do if you're on vacation. <laughs> you have time to, day off, long weekend, day, Saturday. Five, six, seven, The last time you're doing these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Alright, sissies for the last time. And our finisher shouldn't take that long. So our finish is two exercises, back to back. 
even, so on the swings, going from 10 to two, so this is only five rounds. But we're gonna alternate it with 20 calf raises. So 20 calf raises do not change. I'm gonna do it with 30s. All right, and I'll use my 70 for the bell. This should go, go pretty quick, swings quick, okay? So I'm with 10 reps. Stand back, you're gonna lean, hinging. Ooh, there we go. One, squeeze the glutes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Step down, 20 calf raises. I'm just gonna do standard. One, two, core tight, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve, I'm out of breath, it's harder. Count, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, moving down to eight, less rest periods for the calf raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Twenty of these. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, plus five, four, three, two, and one. All right, one, two, three more rounds. One, two, three, four, squeeze it, five, and six. Carefully settle it down. I get your heart rate up. One, two, and then calf raises. Hopefully, bring the heart rate down. Nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. Now five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, four. Closing in that gap. One, two, three, and four. We just have two more rounds. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, Eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last round. <sighs> two reps. One, don't get lazy. Two. All right, this is it, last 20. One, two, three, more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Don't let those shoulders drop. We have five more. Five, four. We're working on uh, grip to three, two, and one. Ah. Great job. I did not know what to expect of this workout. <laughs> Um, but it was great for my knees, which is a bonus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Please let me know what you liked. Um, hopefully you don't have any problems and you can get through this like with heavier weights. Um, but remember, cool down, drink lots of water, get your vitamin D, and I will see you next time. Bye.